Okay, so I found, it took me a minute to get this seated correctly up here at the top, get the screen seated correctly, but I finally did, and then it just clicked right down back in. And then I happened to find this teeny tiny Phillips head screwdriver in my toolbox to get these screws back in, although I didn't really need them. But it's always good to have one of these little tools. Some of them pull out from the top and you can switch them out from a flat head, you know, to a Phillips. This one was too big. It's always good to have these little baby tiny screwdrivers. For I have several, I have a bunch of different ones. So, okay, so I got the two screws back in. One there and then one at the other hand, end over here. But it dawned on me that I could have dropped that screw down in here. So it's better, I had it sitting up like this. So it's probably better to do that flat. So now I'm going to um, put the SIM card back in. You just in, insert it, sorry I didn't film that. Just insert it right in there and press it in. And then, let's see, I think the only thing left to do is the battery. Y'all, cross your fingers. Just slide it in the end. Oops, sorry about that. I need two hands for this. Just slide it in. Click it in place. If you need to take it out, there's a little button on the side you press right there. And just pull it out. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see if it works. Please work. I know the battery's charged. Oh, oh my God, it worked! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it worked. Because before, I couldn't press the button and turn the phone on. I could use my fingerprint for a while but then the, even that stopped working. All right, praise to the Jesus. <laughs> praise to the earring, the baby screwdrivers, the guitar picks, and the guy on YouTube. Thank you to the guy on YouTube who gave instructions. Have a great day, guys. Be sure and vote.